and you must be mighty proud of your players over there. Yeah, um, obviously it's a, a big game. Uh, we're, in, we're standing in a good position in the table, but um, beating Yorkshire is obviously special for the players. It was a really, really good pitch, a proper cricket pitch, but more of a five-day pitch than a four-day pitch to force a win on it. Required a massive effort from everybody. Um, there wasn't a single player who didn't have a didn't have a big contribution in the game, but there's some standout performances within that. Collectively, though, they they needed to stick together throughout the the last day. Um, and at one stage, it was looking probably unlikely, but. Um, they keep coming through these testing times, so uh, a massively satisfying win, and uh, hopefully it will build their confidence and <coughs> in each other and the, you know and the team even further. It's a proper good game of cricket, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, excellent game of cricket. Good toss to lose. There'd been a lot of moisture around prior to the game, so you knew there'd be something there, but the pitch itself looked really good. Uh, but I think our performance on day one set up the game. Obviously, it was. It was it wasn't the seven down at lunch pitch. I think we bowled exceptionally well. Um, but I think, you know, looking back, we needed to do that on that surface to, to be able to force the result. Yeah. Uh, it, in terms of wins as head coach, Glenn, I mean, you've had some good ones this season, but how, how, how would that rate, do you think, to force a victory as you have done? <laughs> well, p purely in terms of, of satisfaction for the players and, you know, the desperation they showed to. to to get over the line and stick to it, but the one at Kent was was outstanding as well. Um, it's difficult to judge, but it's Yorkshire, isn't it? So uh, I suppose it I suppose it stands out. Um, in terms of of, of, your, of of the team, you say everyone's everyone's contributed. Uh, how much of it is belief going into the final day that you can do it on a what like a, a good pitch? We've got a well-rounded attack. Um, we're we're a good unit, we've got all bases covered effectively and I think once you don't on pitches like that you, you fall flat at some point. Um, we do believe that we, that's our advantage over other teams, that we can we have penetration all the way through the bowling unit with different styles of bowlers. Um, but winning games, you know, winning games recently obviously builds your belief. Um, Team sport is is like that. It's really challenging at times, and and if you get on a roll, you know you can you, can, you carry that on. But I think we, we've got to look to um, after we've had a celebration tonight, we've got to look to you know, get back down to earth and realise what we've done well, and, and continue to focus on that. Yeah, and um, you're finding ways to win from different positions in games, aren't you? Which must thrill you. You've got good players not in the team as well. I mean, how optimistic are you going ahead for the rest of the season? What the, what the squad can do? Um, <clears throat> well, obviously there's a lot of belief in the squad. I believe in them. I know they're very good players. I know we've got five or six, seven, well, all the players on the staff are capable. We've got people pushing for places um, and rightly would feel slightly hard done to that they're not getting the chance. Uh, our fitness record this season is brilliant. So, you know, unfortunately for the players who are pushing, they're not, they're not getting the chance at the moment. They've got to keep going. Uh, the players who are in command have got to stay focused on what they're, what they're doing whilst obviously enjoying it um, after wins like that. You were captain in 2011, Glenn. You found ways to win as a team that year. You're finding ways to win as a team now as head coach. I know it's only May, but quite optimistic, isn't it? Lots of supporters. Well, yeah, one step at a time. We're, we're, we're playing really good cricket. This squad's been building now for a couple of years, three or four years, and um, and they're playing, they're sticking together as a unit. You know, they're enjoying the wins, they're enjoying each other's performances, uh, and they're, fi they're finding a way through. And, you know, um, we we'll keep trying to reinforce. I mean, these things aren't easy. That was a really tough win, and they worked really hard for it. So, you know, we'll keep trying to trying to stick to the you know, the, the team aspect of everything um, and celebrate individual success as well. Are you rotating Saki about the team next week at Glamorgan? <laughs> well, Saki didn't play last week and they were... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to Glamorgan and have a look at the pitch, eh? Um, you know, every time I'd, every time we announce a squad and then we have to get to the final 11, it's a horrible discussion with the players who are missing out. Um, that's good in the long run for the for the team and the club. Yeah. Just just ask about Joss. You're going to have him for six T20 matches, aren't you? Yeah. Like that's a bit of a bonus, isn't it? Yep. Um, 
the T20s a challenging period with the schedule. The international fixtures come up and potentially we could lose players during that. Uh, the team we start with is tremendously strong. We obviously believe in the players who come in, but the challenge will be the tra transition between, between, depending on who, who we lose. Um, having Joss back is brilliant. Uh, we're all looking forward to, to seeing him and, and him helping us to, to get to where we want to be. Cool. Okay.